Oh, you got the moves, girl. Ooh, we got the moves. Like, what? what is it? Dagger. Oh, like dagger. Dagger. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got the moves like that. <laughs> so it says we got it. And we're streaming live on Facebook. Yay! Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful Tuesday. Terry Tuesday. Ah. <laughs> and this is the wonderful Terry Smith. Good morning. And the beautiful Jonathan Bailey. Good morning, good afternoon, grand rising. <laughs> beautiful Bailey. And we are here. It's January 2023. Um, what well, Sunday was the Chinese New Year. So that's when the New Year's begins for some people. But in 2023, January is really still just the planning phases for the year because we're coming out of hibernation and we're just trying to envision what we're going to do for this year. And since Terry and I and Navbor will be doing a vision board uh, class on Sunday coming 7 p.m. Eastern, we decided to start breaking down the sections of the vision board. And today we're gonna do the creativity and inner child. It kind of goes along with what we were talking about last week with the divine child. But really, this is an important aspect of yourself where you can, maybe where you didn't receive the nurturing and love and and uh, encouragement with your creativity as a child, you can now embrace that as an adult for yourself to bring that back into your life where your you know, lost hopes and dreams and lost desires, your lost excitement and energy, you can work on bringing that back into your life and reintegrating that for yourself. And we're gonna just get into that today. Um, Jonathan, because we always start with Terry. I'm like, Jonathan, I would like your I input. Nice start today. <laughs> For you, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> move it at, and you can be creative on how you wear it, too. Right? That's right. That's, That's right. So many ways. I just, uh, yeah, kept it, kept it uh, OG today. Okay, well, tell us more about why this is important. Um, so, yeah, connecting to that child, it's just, um, there's certain, it goes back to the term of, you know, before you have a child, you're supposed to handle your, your baggage or your traumas. So, so then your child doesn't have to deal with it later on. But, you know, many people obviously don't and have the children to kind of reflect and, and have them to focus on what they, you know, what they need to be mindful of. It doesn't always pan out that way. But so it's going back into those spots or those places and nourishing that those moments um, and, and really connecting to that emotion of, that was maybe missing or um, yeah, just, you know, maybe there's a little extra that might have been needed. You know, it was me that having that support at, uh, you know, when I was playing sports and stuff, but it was like my family, my mom was sick. My dad was in all multiple, in other places dealing with, with her and assisting her. So, you know, it's, you know, you can go in multiple places to, uh, to uh, really look for that, that support to yourself, to that child of you. You know, and it's really to embrace what you really felt like doing and what you feel like it, it was needed and right now, like looking at this from this point of view, right? And just play with it, you know? You know we're so serious, the society's so serious when, you know, when we grow up ahead of a certain age and you gotta be this way or it's that program that makes us feel that we can't be a certain way, right? To have that that fun creative child like side you know, I was going my sister was sliding with her her son the other day it was like <laughs> and you know she was just in such a, a great space because I mean if she didn't have her her, her kid 
she wouldn't have been doing that. But it was like, it was just so good to see her go down. And it was like, oh, she was, it was pretty mild. And then she got like halfway and it was all you could hear. It was like, ah! <laughs> I mean, she's like half a mile away, but she, you know, <laughs> <laughs> she she was so she was having so much fun it hit that resonance like i could feel it within the message that she was sending me through the text messages i could feel it right um yeah when you lose track of who's watching and what they think mm -hmm. to actually participate and be who you are and enjoy the moment right yeah. i feel like i've been around a lot of adults that are like oh, I know this person's mad at me or I know people don't like me or I know someone's watching me or I don't want people to think. And so we stay like in our heads constantly putting ourselves in this box to maintain this persona and never really letting the walls down to just be like, this is me. This is who I am and, and be able to relax. And Terry, what was your... Well, I'm just going to add the, the aspect of imagination. Um, as kids, we we use our imagination, at least I did when I was a kid. Um, you know, my imagination would run wild with all kinds of scenarios. And, um, uh, you know, I didn't have any restrictions growing up. But, you know, in our society today, we're told what we can think, what we're supposed to think. We're, we have to live within boxes and stuff. And so sometimes connecting to the inner child and to that creativity and uh, you know whether it is finding joy whether it's through sports or or just imagining you know like daydreaming that you're you know like you're a butterfly what would it be like to be a butterfly you know those are things that kids do but they're nowadays we don't give them those that space to do it because we fill we fill their space up with so much other stuff and um you know, and and we, if you grew up having the ability to use your imagination, we've forgotten where that where that resides, and it's still residing within us. So, um, it's it's connecting to that whole idea of creativity, using your imagination, getting that piece of paper and drawing the butterfly, like we did a couple of weeks ago. Doesn't matter what it looks like. But it's just it's it's engaging with that ability that we we have within us. So this is beautiful. And how would you like for us to get started? We can give everyone at home a couple of minutes to get your water, light your candle, get your fragrance going. Um, a huge thing okay and then we're going to wait for terry hey, terry did you disappear did it me okay so <laughs> i don't know but um a huge part of this when you want to go to this safe space can be fragrance so enjoy some fragrance if you got your diffuser if you got your incense or your sage and your candle to set the mood dim, dim your lights if you want and always remember too as you speak over water the this is why this is where i went <laughs> so i've got my fragrance i've got my incense <laughs> that the water can embrace the energy of those words so always remember that as you speak your prayers or write them down you can connect them into the water absorb that energy from the inside out so we're just giving everybody a moment and i'll go get my water we'll get your water and i and now that i'm here i'll be back and and just <laughs> and just add to the fact that we do have we have that ability within us to connect so what we're going to do is just stir it up a little bit and try and bring <clears throat> bring that creative um imaginative source back into us and so if you're working on the vision board um you can probably you, you can use this meditation to just help you to get yourself whether you're going to work in that area or you're just where do i start with this you, you, you can just it's connecting with that 
aspect of ourselves with that inner child and say, ah, where, where am I going to go? How am I, what am I going to find in my life that's going to um, bring me some of these joy and happiness? Because that's where that, that's where it resides from is the inner child. And I suppose the other thing is like, you know, um, if you do have issues with, with your childhood, certainly um, seek some professional assistance with that. We're just here to help you find some tools that you can use. Yep. All right, so hopefully you paused or did pause for the calls and did what you had to do and you're ready. And we'll just let Terry and Jonathan take control. All right. Okay. So. Start off with a little bit of just some breathing yeah. just to get you centered and in a space of opening up. So just close your eyes, take a few breaths that just nice cleansing breaths, like deep, expanding the chest, the stomach, the diaphragm and exhaling. Now bring that inhale again, allow it to roll through your body like a wave. Allow it to pause at the top of your head. Just observe, feel this moment. Exhale, allow it to flow back throughout. And now, just bring your awareness to any place within your body that has a little extra tension, low back, neck, shoulders, and just bring a nice long inhale for six into that space. Pause for three. And exhale for nine, just allowing it to go deeper and releasing, growing lighter and lighter as it just settles like a calm lake. And let's take one more nice, slow, deep breath. And with each breath after this, just go deeper into relaxation, deeper into peace, deeper in the present. In your final breath, and bring it from your feet into the top of your head. For th Pause. Just bring that down, your awareness down to your heart. Just observe and exhale slowly as this presence, this peace, this, this golden space surrounds you. It's within every cell of your body, wherever you put your awareness. You are loved and protected and set to be inspired of creative. Walking with the child and us through this journey, Terry. 
So just with that intention <clears throat> to connect with your creativity, with your inner child, with your imagination, I'm going to invite you to move to your heart space. And just, you can just put your hand over your chest and just become aware of that, of your heart and the golden light within your heart. And this light, you move towards it. And it's a door. And the light is shining through above between the cracks. And you have the key that opens the door. All you have to do is just your touch, turn the knob, the handle. And as you open the door, you are immediately flooded by loving golden light. And in front of you, you have a staircase, but you also have a slide. Today, we're going to use the slide like you did when you were a child. Remember that feeling of standing at the top and then feeling the rush as you get down and you allow yourself to slide down. the slide has a few twists and turns and you feel so exhilarated as you move down. You feel yourself giggling, the whoosh of the wind, the breeze that you're creating, breeze in your face. And when you come to a landing, you stop and you have a yeah, real good shape. Just feel how the energy is shifted by moving through on the side. And as you reach the bottom in front of you is your divine inner child. And you start to giggle with this child. And they say to you, see, wasn't that fun? Just feel the joy starting to well up within you. Just that feeling of abandonment without a care in the world, just allowing yourself to be free for a few moments. And you take the child's hand and they say to you, come with me. And you follow along with them as they open up a new vista to you. This is the place they say to you that resides within you and it's your creative place. This is the place where you can find whatever it is that you're looking for. And this is the place where you learn how to bring that forward. So as you look around, your child, your divine child, asks you to just walk with them. And as you're walking along the path, they're going to show you different aspects that you can bring into your life. And the simplest one, they say, is to bring joy in your life. They say, what do you do every day that brings you joy? 
child is telling you that that joy comes from this part of himself. No one else can give you joy but you. What makes you happy? And as you look around, you see birds flying, animals playing, flowers in their infinite beauty. Far over to your right, you see a little stream and a waterfall. And you continue your walk with your divine child. And on this walk, you see different aspects of your life. Your child says to you, what can you do to bring happiness or joy from within to this area? Your child remem reminds you that you are not what other people say you are. It's about connecting your life to this part of yourself. And before you, you see a beautiful bench. This is a, you are a very special bench. It's a bench you can use for contemplation, for thinking, for planning. Look at the bench and just imagine what it feels like when you sit down on it. What is it made of? Is it got stones and crystals? Is it carved? So your child tells you, you can sit here for a few moments and think. Or you can come with them and just run around and play tag. But I'll give you a few moments to just spend in this part of yourself.
now <clears throat> it's time for us to start to wake, make our way back. Your child takes you by the hand and says, come on, let's skip back. You have to have a skip for a while, but at this place you can skip. And you're feeling very lighthearted now. You just feel the joy and the beauty that is all around you. This is the place where you can go at any time to connect with your imagination, with your creative place. See what resides here. And as you return to where you came in, your child takes you by the hands, he looks at you in the eyes, and says, remember that you are deeply loved. Remember to live your life and find joy things. Remember to pick up a piece of paper and just doodle. Look at the clouds and what do you see? And your child hands you a bunch of balloons. And as you grab the balloons, they start to lift you up. And you just feel that freedom just lifting up into the air, into the, with the balloons. and bringing you back to the door where you first entered. You let go of the balloons as they drift off. You walk through the door, remembering these aspects of yourself and your connection with this divine child that resides within you. Now moving back through the door into your heart space. Just letting this energy settle within you. Bringing your awareness back into your physical body. Knowing that you're always connected to this golden source. Bringing your awareness back to your feet and your hands. Moving your shoulders, taking a deep breath in, holding it, and release. Again, just bringing another breath. Feel your lungs expanding and open. Ready and aware. 
to move forward. Remembering that anytime you want to connect with this child, just simply put your hand over your heart and know that they're just waiting on the other side. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and welcome back. Who got the home base first? <laughs> you're muted. Me? Yeah. No. You can't hear me? Still, we can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear Erica. Yeah. Jonathan, you say something. Yeah. Terry, check, check. One, yeah, two. you're muted too. Can you no. hear me? I can hear you, Erica. We can hear you, Terry. You can hear Erica? Yeah, I can hear both of you. Okay, well. <laughs> I can't hear anyone. <laughs> Surprise, technology and Terry. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Oh, um, what? She, she still can't hear me. I said, who got the home base first? <laughs> like, Tag, you're it. No, I want home base. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For a minute, I had. I can't hear anything, so sorry. <laughs> so go out. Okay. I'm hoping she'll go out and come back in. She she got it. She I think she Okay, good. And so and so for, for a minute there I was like, oh a hula hoop. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the hula hoop in the beach in the water. Mm -hmm. And um yeah, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um we're gonna say hi to Carolyn and Shafiqua out there. Hi Carolyn, we used to work together at the hospital nice. in Shafiqua. And Carolyn, nice, nice for you guys to be here. Fifi. 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 Um, but I think, um, did you want to close with a statement? Because I am good. I can. And this came to me as we were, you know, we were skipping back with the child. And it was like, it was remembrance of of making, of resonating and making sound. You know, how many kids, how many of us who are kids just make, we make sound and we soothe ourselves and expressing ourselves. And, you know, I would use, I was using certain light language when I was a child, but it was soothing mm -hmm. to me, right? And so it's the oh. subtle thing is just yeah. use your voice, you know? What did you used to, you know, say and it could have been you know could have been something so light and fun and you could bring that in for a moment right i used to make up my own songs yeah, yeah. <laughs> i used to do heart song and not even know that that's what that was like i used to believe that if i go Ooh, yep. and as long as i could and stretch it out not knowing that we were born doing this work mm -hmm. we learned not to do it mm -hmm. Right. As kids, we do it intuitively, right? Yeah. And we're taught not to. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. and be quiet, be seen and not heard. Right. Exactly. This is what I got on the way back, Terry. Mm. When we were skipping, it was just bringing the voice and the child and just resonating. Maybe finding that song that we we hummed always. Yeah. There's always a pattern and always a, always a, um, a certain vibration that we were embracing right because that's who we that's our unique signature right right you know and i was talking to devin the other day and he said you need to take your work your play seriously so have you ever interrupted a child when they were playing you want them to go do something and they're like what <laughs> you know, they are intense about their play and so we have to be intense about our our play i was even thinking um I was in a circle the other day and one of the cards was pure bliss and the other one was um, playful. Mm -hmm. And 
I'm understanding that it's very hard for me to put any effort or energy into projects or work that do not bring me joy. Mm -hmm. And so we're constantly, I remember in, in elementary school and I said, I don't feel good. And the young lady said, you know, your mom doesn't always feel good and she still has to do this. And we're told like, when you don't feel good, you do it anyway. When you don't like stuff, you do it anyway. If you don't want to hug a person, do it anyway. And we're constantly being told to go against our nature and our instinct. Yeah, and that's where we get that. Well, I should do this. You right. should do that. And so we're constantly shoulding instead of shooting all over the place. Shooting yeah. all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Giving your power away. Yeah. Well, see, this is also why we forget our intuition and our instincts because we're being told that it's all wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So what did you want to close with, Terry? Um, I think I just wanted to close with that. Uh, it, it's it's that it's discovering that that that's that never went away. That child never went away. It's just that that it's been burdened with so much shoulds <laughs> that it it needs to break free and it's always here it's within us so um you know we can connect in different ways but if we go through the heart just bring your awareness here and just just be in that moment and just find joy in simple things and you know don't put an expectation on that i'm not you know we can find joy in you know hey that cup of coffee or that smelling that beautiful perfume or essential oil and it just and you know taking a bath going for a walk outside and taking a a breath of air it, those are simple things that can bring us joy without i give you one Popping the middle out of a Reese cup with your tongue, like, oh, <laughs> I used to love to do that. And I was like, I love that. And Lisa, hi, Lisa. Yeah. You know what really brings is if, if you've ever watched these, there's videos of the raccoons uh, uh, punching the bubble, breaking the bubbles, you know, like the bubble wrap, <laughs> just watching the raccoons, how much fun they have. And it's just like, Watch even that doesn't it bring you joy to pop the bubbles? And, Absolutely, and it does. Now, this takes me back to Egypt, and I've asked them for some bubble wrap. And the man was bringing it to me, his co worker grabbed it and was like, pop, 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 pop. And he was like, oh, Why are you popping? <laughs> he grabbed it from the other guy, and just started popping it. He was like, I'm sorry, I just had to do it. This grown man in the suit is popping out the bubble wrap. <laughs> We're just laughing. That's why at the end it said the, the bunch of balloons, balloons bring us joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is Terry Tuesday. Um, Sunday night, we will be live on YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern. And this is when we're going to discuss. Terry's going to do a vision meditation. I'm going to do the, I'm going to go over the parts of the vision board. And Mike Navwar is going to discuss how to remove, he's going to do some exercises where you can remove your mental blocks because sometimes we have a problem with visualizing, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes we don't trust our vision. So we have to learn to trust it, but then sometimes we have blocks and I'm really looking forward to see what kind of exercises he comes up with. And I'm looking forward to that meditation. So that's 7 p.m. on Women of the Stars on the YouTube, we're going live. So don't miss that. And if you can go on the channel, click your videos and subscribe, set the reminder bell, like, give us some comments to let us know what parts work for you, what didn't work for you, or even some more stuff that you would like to discuss. So Erica, do they need, do they need to bring any kind of papers or anything like that a notepad what do you suggest that they start off with we could bring a notepad so they can take notes but i'd rather you just be mindful it's a video on youtube you can always go back and rewind it and if you want to contact me and reach out i can send you the worksheets to get yourself started so i would rather you just be mindful and be like oh my god but then, you know, you have thoughts, but you can always go back to it, right? Right. So 
your, your level of preparation is up to you. I know I like to take a notepad everywhere I go. And so I'll be having conversations with people. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't want you to feel like I'm, <laughs> but that was a good one. I got to write that down. Fantastic. So have a good day, rest of the day. Over here, it's 1230. In my magical, mystical place, it's, it's 737. <laughs> I'll, never, I'll never forget the time in Egypt. Like now I know in the UK, it's 530. In uh, Germany, it's 6.30, and now over in Egypt, I know it's 7. So <laughs> <laughs> now I know. So have a good day, everyone. Take care. Much love. Oh, if you do, you maybe get a chance to take a nap. Yeah. Mm. That's a kid thing. Yeah, that is. I noticed that uh, Terry, or, uh, K there, uh, Erica, that uh, you're up a little bit uh up a little bit later though. <laughs> you know, yeah, I was up till 5 a.m. But I did yeah. take a nap. That's kind of, I took a late nap, so that kind of uh but um <laughs> I was shaking at 5 a.m. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and then I saw the next message and I was like, oh well, she yep, she really just took a nap. <laughs> a couple hours. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bye guys. Much love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>